Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Victor Garcia, your CS tutor. And today we're gonna be doing some math. And I know that sounds boring, but it's very necessary, especially when you're doing uh, bigger coding projects, you're gonna be using uh, math to do your solutions. However, we don't always wanna uh, make sure the formulas we write down are correct and uh, cover all the cases. Uh, we wanna make sure that that's all 100% correct and we wanna reuse it everywhere in our code. So we don't wanna write it down all the time. So what we can do is we could go to our very smart friend over here and borrow some of his code that he's already written. Now I have my friend here, Java Lang, and he already made a package with uh, this amazing math class that has all the, the math formulas that we would ever want to use. Uh, and we could just, I guess, kind of steal his code and use it for ours. Uh, that way it's faster, it's reliable, and it saves us a lot of time. So what you want to do is you want to, at the top of your code, you want to do this. Import. So this is telling Java that we want to import a package and use it all over our code. So let's do import and then the package name. And this would import the entire package. And my friend Java Lang here has done a bunch of other classes that aren't necessarily math related, uh, but they're used for other stuff. And we only really need the math class here. So what we can do is we can specify uh, or tell Java that we just want the math class by doing after the package, doing the class that we want. So let's do java.lang.math, which is the math class that we want to use. Now this specific package here is so uh, necessary for a lot of our codes that Java already uh, does this every time you code. So you actually don't need to write this down to use a math class. Java already has imported this entire package. But let's say you found online some other package it does an even better uh, version or something that you need specifically, you can import that. Uh, but for now, let's just do the very basic math class here. Okay, so now we have imported our package and we're able to use it all over our code. How do we do that? So well, what you wanna do is you wanna find out the functions that you wanna use in that package. And when you're uh, playing around in the code, what you wanna do is you wanna write the name of the class, which is math and then dot the name of the function and the math class has a lot of uh, very useful functions or the few of the ones that we use the most is the absolute the power the floor the ceiling and the min and the max uh, let's do power for now so let's do dot pow two to the power of four which is two four eight sixteen but that's just one case. Let's look at, <laughs> I literally did the thing, but that's just one case. Let's see all the different functions that my friend Java Lang uh, did. Let's go to the code editor. So here we are at the code editor and we're using our math class uh, that we imported in and we're using its functions. So we have uh, lots of different functions here and we're using, uh, we're pretty much playing with numbers here. So let's look at the first function that we've, we've called, which is math.absolute or abs. So ABS means absolute, which pretty much if you give it any value, negative or positive, it will just give you the positive version of that value. So this will be positive five. SQRT just gives you the square root of whatever value you put in it. So we put in 16 and the square root of 16 is four because four times four is 16. For power, it's the opposite of square root. It does the power be two to the power of three, which is eight. And then for math.ceiling and math.floor, those are two uh, similar but opposite functions. Ceiling, if you give it a decimal value, let's say uh, 4.3, it'll give you the next integer up or the next whole number above that value. And for floor, 4.3 will be four, because floor gives you the next value below that decimal value. Round does a similar thing, but instead of uh, always going to the ceiling or floor, it depends on the decimal value. So uh, we scrolled up and now we have uh, something that isn't a function in this class, it's a variable. 
and packages can also allow us to use this. So not every time do you want to use a function. Sometimes you want to use a predefined variable. And for the math class, the predefined variables are pi and e, which are very useful for when you're dealing with circles and uh, logs, I guess. So for the pi value, math.pi would just give us uh, a decimal value that's approximated to 3.14 and E, if I remember correctly, will be close to 2.7. So these are the values that we're expecting. Uh, let's run the code and then let's check if our values are correct. All right, absolute value, it gave us five, square root four, power eight, ceiling five, floor four, rounded five, exactly how we expected. And as you can see, um, all these values returned a decimal value except for uh, absolute value. So you gotta wanna make sure that uh, the functions you're using are returning the, the type that you want it. So just be careful with that one. Well, I hope you learned a little bit more about uh, packages and how they work and how you import them as well as a little bit of math, which is always fun. <laughs> all right, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.